morning and welcome to our International Apparel Service. Um, it's lovely to see you all. During the service there are going to be lots of different people taking part in different languages, different cultures. Next we have John 12, 46, which will be read for us by Mark in Hungarian. Én világossággal jöttem a világra, hogy senki nem maradjon sötétségben, aki én benne hisz. Yes, uh, we are singing in the Yoruba language. It's one of the main languages in Nigeria. And the song is still about uh, the light being arriving among us, which is Christ Jesus. in India and in India it's in the northeast corner of India bordering Burma uh, which used to be called Burma which is now called Myanmar beginning of this year in March there was uh, a conflict between the tribals and the non-tribals they forcibly wanted to evict the tribals living somewhere in the plains and in the foothills of the state saying uh, we have to leave so they forcefully evicted a lot of people. So um, I'm very grateful to our church leaders and everybody, every church members here in every good community for um, supporting this cause. Uh, the money raised will be used especially to buy um, blankets, warm clothes for the winter, and most importantly, basic medical supplies. Manipura Tamna Alem Nadim we pray for peace in Manipur. For the internally displaced tribal Christians who are victims to the ongoing violence. May you bring hope and security. May you provide their basic needs and for the leaders to find a peaceful solution.
Our theme is light for the world. And, and sometimes we don't really appreciate light until we don't have it. From, from the time of Genesis, God promised that there would be this light that would come. There would be this light that would change everything. And then in the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, it says, The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the deep darkness, the light has dawned. All this darkness that we see in our world today will cease to exist. Because his light changes everything. The light that was promised was also the light that was given. And if there was any doubt as to who this light was supposed to be, Jesus clears it up in John 8, 12 which we heard a little bit earlier, but it says, when Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. This light that was promised, this light that was given, this light gives us hope. This light changes everything. In the darkness we were waiting without hope, without love.